So the 13th of December is a landmark day for the island of Taiwan. The Taiwan elected Lai ching te is its next president. And Vion is, of course, on the ground to get you all the updates by the hour. Have a look at this Vion exclusive report roundup that's been compiled just for you. Midway through Taiwan's election day, an enthusiastic voter turnout continues. Early reports from a new Taipei polling station in Banqiao District suggest a high participation rate, with voters facing a 15-minute wait from the 8 a.m. opening. Yes, well, there has been much anticipation leading up to today, and people have been talking about it all week. And many of the people for the last couple of days and today have been buying train tickets, plane tickets, just trying to get home to where they're registered to vote. Most of the people in Taiwan prefers the status quo. Uh, and that is, but the politicians have another kind of way of trying to reach the voters. Some are using a scare tactic. And also um, Beijing has been saying it's a choice between peace and war. So it's a lot of political rhetoric, but the people of Taiwan really prefers uh, the status quo. And it's really up to them as to decide which candidate can best achieve the status quo. Really what makes this uh, election something that the world is looking at is the possibility of war. China has not renounced the use of force uh, to bring Taiwan under its sovereignty. And uh, they've made very clear that they retain that, that option to use force. So the potential for a war uh, over Taiwan is something that, uh, again, it, it attracts global attention, not, not only because of supply chain type of issues or that Taiwan manufactures most of the advanced semiconductors that are used in all sorts of uh, gadgets from consumer electronics to cloud computing servers, uh, but but just the fact that a war could be uh, you know, so catastrophic as we've seen with other wars, whether that's Ukraine, Russia, or uh, currently in the Middle East and Gaza Strip. So younger people, uh, younger voters, some first and second time voters, and they seem very keen for this election to be a bit more about issues that matter to them domestically, such as the economy, such as jobs, uh, the high cost of um, housing here in Taipei, rather than it just being all about prostrate tension. The polls in Taiwan closed at 4 p.m. local time, and the process of ballot counting is underway. I'm currently stationed outside the presidential office, and we will hear the announcement of the newly elected president in just a few hours. This year's voter turnout is expected to rival that of the 2020 general elections. With sunny weather all day and a widespread understanding of the election's critical importance, there's palpable excitement in the air. Well, it's a strong uh, victory for the ruling party and Lai Qingde. It was a highly uh, difficult election, very competitive. It was a three-way presidential race. Yep, just a short while ago, just behind me uh, in the large crowd, he was addressing his supporters. It wasn't a landslide victory by any stretch of the imagination. It was fairly close, but then it became more and more evident that Lai Qingde will be the next Taiwan president. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.